Daya is the place where Dayao lives. Here he lives peacefully with his brother Parabangon and their father, the tribe leader Ulo. Here in Daya, they thrive on what the river provides for the tribe. There was also another tribe on the other side of the river. It was Laod. Laod was home to the indomitable people. And it was there that Dayao saw a woman named Waiwaya. Dayao abducted her and made her a slave. Despite Dayao's barbaric actions, he still loved Waiwaya and they had a son. Sadly, Waiwaya did not live to see their child grow because she died after giving birth to him. Deeply saddened, Dayao decided to take his wife to Laud and there she would be buried. There is something about an old tree, he said. It grows no more. At the same time, it is difficult to cut it down. Its roots are deep, although it can draw no more sustenance from the earth. Maybe it is right that new trees should grow.